Okay, so for the last week, I read the Maze Runner trilogy, which was, you know, it's sold as a must for the fans of the Hunger Games. And, you know, I mean, it was intriguing enough. It was an interesting premise. You know, it's like one of those almost like post-apocalyptic worlds where something's crazy going on and what's going on and we don't know, but there's all this death and blah, 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 blah. I liked the series enough, but there was something missing in it for me. I can't pinpoint it, and usually I can be really articulate about what I do and don't like about books, but there was just something about the Maze Runner that was off. I think the best way to describe it would be like, in, I love how the first book started. The first book was great, it presented a lot of questions, it was really interesting, they built a fantastic world, but then as things started to go on, like I felt like one event after another after another was almost too sporadic and too random and too spontaneous. And I get that, that, that the author maybe was trying to do that to kind of parallel like how chaotic things really would be in real life, but at the same time, I'm reading a book. So I want everything to be connected. And I think A Death Cure is the last one. There was supposed to be like a big reveal at the end, but the big reveal wasn't really that big. Also, like the main thing with the Maze Runner series is that everyone's a liar. Who's telling the truth? We don't know. But then it just kept flip-flopping back and forth. It was too much. It was too much flip-flopping. Um, I would give it maybe like a six or a seven out of 10. If you like The Hunger Games, you'll probably like The Maze Runner, you know, you'll probably like it, but not as much as you'd like The Hunger Games because I feel like Susan Collins just did really great job with that world and really great with wrapping it up nicely at the end. This one was okay. It just, I don't know, there was just something missing. I, I finished the series. I mean, it was, it was easy to blow through. It's easy to read and, you know, it keeps you going, but I just was not satisfied at the end of it. I just felt like, well, you didn't give me, you didn't let me climax or something. I don't know. Um, but I applaud James Dashner because it's not like I've ever written a fucking trilogy, so don't get me wrong. <sighs> what I didn't like is, okay, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do any spoilers, but I do wanna give it an accurate review. So there's this world in the first book, and then it expands to a second world, and which expands again to another world. So you're discovering worlds within worlds is the best way I can say it, or discovering new societies, or discovering that the world you lived in was really not the whole world, and this is the real world. Oh no, wait, this is the real world. And what really frustrated me about that was that I felt like the genres were almost colliding. Like it felt like like it was ran like randomly zombie-ish type of people were introduced. And I don't know, it was just, it was trying to be, I don't, I don't know, it felt like it was trying to be a procedural, but it was trying to be sci-fi, but it was trying to be post-apocalyptic, and I just felt like there was too much going on. I felt like it was a little bit too overcomplicated, and, and, and with like the constant lying or the mistrust and stuff. Also, the main character, kind of annoying. The main character, Thomas, I was just like, you're an idiot. This, like, I could do this better than you. You're stupid. And, you know, you hate feeling like that way about a protagonist, because that's like with Twilight, is how fucking stupid you think Bella is. You just go nuts. But now that I'm done with that, I'm reading The Talisman by Stephen King and Peter Schraub. Straub? I don't know how to say his name. But, um, that one's like a thousand pages. So we'll see how quickly I finish that. And, uh, thank you, James Dashner, for a lot of foreplay, but no climax. I feel like a lot of authors are leaving me with blue balls. Alright guys. Keep... I still don't have an outro. I... Oh, someone had a really good comment in another video. It was like, the book bo... the... wait. It's like, read your books and the... Or the boner books will rise. I don't know, but it was something good. I'll find it and I'll screen cap it here and... It was really well done and it's funny, so... Let me know what you think about these books if you've read them, and um, if you if you identify with what I'm saying, maybe recommend me a book that you think would leave me more satisfied at the end of our merging. These books tried to make love to me and they failed, but it's okay. You learn something new. All right. Keep your boner book. God, it's really hard to come up with something clever and funny on that one. <laughs>